Politics is defined by the Oxford Dictionary as the activities associated with the governance of a country or area, especially the debate between parties having power. The activities of governments concerning the political relationships between states, a particular set of political beliefs or principles, the principles relating to or inherent in a sphere or activity, especially when concerned with power and status, activities aimed at improving someone's status or increasing power within an organization. Is politics in the capital really representing you? You as an individual, the U.S. as a country, are the decisions being made in our Congress leading the world? What impact are these decisions having, especially on your life? Are you ultimately responsible? Have you taken your role seriously by voting? What is Congress voting record? on disability. Will you vote in 214 to improve the conditions of your country and hold your representatives responsible? Let's talk about this today and lead the way for better legislation to help people injured in a car accident. Welcome and thank you for joining Estrus TV on Block TV this February 27, 2013. This is your car accident television channel, sharing information and concerns that help you. Yes, you matter and you count. Hi, I'm Estra, your host. Tune in every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are coming to you from Seattle, Washington. What political impact do insurance companies and employers have on your daily life? On this program, your challenges in dealing with insurance companies, self-insured employers, and coping with everyday situations from being involved in a car accident are up for discussion. Our political system is in fact part of this process. What are the struggles and the legislations enacted to help your condition after being in a collision. Now for my commentary on you and politics. Did our politics allow the dumbing down of America? Moving jobs abroad for greed by using automated systems only to learn the skills and knowledge U.S. citizens uniquely developed over generations is not easily replaced. Breaking down our economy by almost completely eliminating working class personal gains, leaving Americans hungry, homeless, jobless, and with a great deal of hopelessness. However, the determination and ingenuity of this population will prevail. And despite having to pick up the pieces, people are creative, which means finding their own path to restoration. Once restored, citizens will remember their survival is lost when giving those who live by the creed of greed and have more interest in serving their own political careers than the people and the country they serve. Are you poor today? Do you realize you are not alone? Recognize the very large pool you belong to right now in our society. In fact, you have a great deal of political power as a group if you choose to use it. Make the decision to run for political office and protect your interests. Help our country become a fair and just society. Are you middle class? You too should run for political office. Use your knowledge for the betterment of everyone instead of taking care of the wealthy. Our society will become more fair and just by your efforts. Are you wealthy? Do you believe in opportunities for everyone? Realize you've gotten where you are by having a chance to grow and realize your potential. Everyone deserves this chance, creating a respected 
global power. Our country people from all over the world will want to come and become citizens because our society will be more fair and just. In my opinion, when a society chooses to prey on the poor, disabled, or those who start from a disadvantaged position, our society declines morally and economically. It is our political system's job to keep a balance for all its people. Interest rates for borrowing are astronomical for the working class, and our interest paid on investments create enormous wealth for a few. People recognize this injustice. These wealth takers are getting more from the fabric of our society than they are giving. Our, when our political process does not protect its most vulnerable citizens, but decides that the sequester is more important for a few and too big to fail, did not bring enough destruction to those who work very hard daily to keep our country together, then it is time for a change in the people in our politics. In the wild, wild west, we had guns, but most people used them responsibly and held themselves to a high standard, meaning they had self-respect, and the majority of people stood up for what was best for everyone. No one would stand by as innocent children are killed because of laws that protect those who disrespect life. How civilized are we today? Have we gone backwards instead of forwards? What direction is our politics going today? Take time to learn what is going on in your community. What is having an impact on your family? What would you or how would you participate in our politics? And what would that do for your friends, your family and your community? By all means, get involved now. Really, it is really about you. Does it matter whether you're abled or disabled? No. Does it matter whether you're poor or rich? No. Again, does it matter your skin tone? Absolutely not. No. What does matter is that you act today, that you choose to speak out about disability harassment and intimidation by insurance companies or employers, that you speak out against hunger and homelessness and joblessness. Many people are in a world of hurt right now. Talking is good, but action is better. Support political officials who vote on issues that help you. Frequent businesses that pay a living wage. Yes, you have political power, a lot of power, but will you use it? Or will you give it up to someone who is not working in your best interest? In fact, they might be working against you. What will you do right now to get involved in politics? What does it take? You. Yes, just you. Start by simply following what your representatives are doing. I can almost guarantee before you know it, your niche will be found. There is a very large pool of concerns in our society right now, and you need to be a part of this process to address them and resolve them. It really is about you. From a recovery perspective of a car accident to actually being a part of our political system. This world needs each and every one of us. Don't leave your spot empty. A vacant place at the political table is a missed opportunity for you and for those needing your support. You matter and you count. Let's make pol politics work for all people, which means your support and efforts will make a big difference in making dreams come true for all of us. You are here for a reason. How would I, Esther, define politics? Quote, a government comprised of the poor, the middle class, the rich, made up of Native Americans, Asian Americans, Hispanic Americans, Pacific Island Americans, African Americans, White Americans, and multi-ethnic Americans are all Americans. End quote. 
an inclusive place where everyone has a place in our political system and their values and opinions are implemented into the fabric of our society, eliminating today's exclusions. A question to think about today is, are you a registered voter in 2014? And how long are you willing to wait in line in order to cast your vote? Email your comments to Estra's Radio Show at Block Talk Radio or Estra's TV at gmail.com. <laughs>